Hello everyone and welcome to um, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. My name is Damasaur and I am a guest on SD Knuckles video. Yeah. And he should be lucky. He's in the dungeon of which I love the music the best. I mean, Sounds very like Indian y. I can't tell you how many times I would probably hum this right now if I was by myself. <laughs> which I did in the first playthrough. I have a question. Um, how many hearts do you lose if you fall into the lava? Half. <laughs> oh. Decided to okay. test it there. I'm confident enough to fall in. The next thing you know, you die or you barely survive by half a heart. Oh, uh, well, I should be okay. I don't have any problems. Yeah. Right off the bat. Compass. Uh. Huzzah. The only one thing I don't like about this dungeon, it's too linear. It's too hard to get lost in this dungeon. Which means it takes away any challenge a dungeon has. Wait, too hard to get lost? Oh yeah. Way too hard to get lost. Normally I just... I get lost on anything. Mm. I get lost on I've never played Pokemon. Then again, I hardly play RPGs. Like, the only RPGs I really play are, uh, Pokemon, uh, some online RPGs, really, but that's about it. The only RPG, actual RPG, I've messed with is Skyrim. <laughs> and Borderlands, if you consider that, but that's an FPS. <laughs> Wait, well, which one? Borderlands. Oh, yeah, Borderlands, yeah. I played that for a bit and was like, what am I doing? I'm dying everywhere. <laughs> you need to be careful now. I'm getting reckless. Look at all those hearts you lost. Link's turning pale. <laughs> oh, well. You think you would be turning dark from getting burned by the lava? Is that a mustache? Where? <laughs> In his inventory. The, that's part of the trading quest. Oh, okay. Uh, Link with a mustache? Wait a minute. <laughs> I wanna see it for that hog. Okay, and the map for the place. Yep, looks just like a skull. Happily named the Skull Dungeon. Oh, ah! Frickin' bat! Knock you right back in. Knock me right back in! Get one out of here! Get one out of this minecart. Why can't I jump out of it like in Minecraft? And then it'll keep going and it'll break or something. <laughs> oh, that's close. Red boats and I don't think minecarts do that, I don't know. Um, no, my minecarts don't like oh, okay. have like a million minecarts in one little position. Hmm. And then when you get in it, they all just take off. Okay. Eight ball in the side pocket. Eight ball in the side pocket. <laughs> I said eight ball in the side pocket! Bad go! <laughs> okay, hit the switch! What's that? Um can you, can you possibly hit the enemy into it? Or do you have... Oh, there we go. Well, I got it. I can kill the enemy, but no. It's not that... They're not that creative with the enemies. Enemies are not going to help you here. Because the When do they ever help you? When, when do enemies ever care about Link? Never! Anyway, full life again. Let's get the red ring there back going. We can do oh, was that a, like a regeneration ban? Red ring, sword damage doubled. Yeah. Gold joy ring, find double items. Nice. Bomb proof ring, no damage from your own bombs. I need that the most on everything. <laughs> well, I used that one in the last dungeon with my last guest. <laughs> Kinda needed it there, otherwise I would have bad luck. Wanna go swimming? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I oh, just did. did. <laughs> I just did. Yeah, you just did. <laughs> I just did, okay. Now, time to get the puzzle solved. Pull the switch. <laughs> Pull a link. I like how his face turns green. And stop the lava flow and run across. That's all. Is it on a timer? Oh, no. Yeah, it is on a timer. The uh, lever oh. gets pushed back into a position. And. Annoying stuff, uh, that like to throw bones at me, but somehow these aren't throwing them. 
like how that one just avoided you. Oh, that one. Nope, he didn't. He got whirling dervished in the face. Oh boy. Buzz beetles. That's what I think these are called. Into the lava. Yep. And puzzle time. What Zelda game was it that had the... Like a Goomba or whatever in it? Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening, there it is. Yeah. I remember that from somewhere. Also a chain chomp. Oh yeah, I remember the chain chomp. I was like, what is this doing here? In a picture. You're in the wrong game. <laughs> okay, this puzzle. Over the trap. Push this out of the way. Don't want to push it on the cracked block, otherwise it'll fall. Now get the traps. Oh. Nope. Nope. I didn't fall, thank goodness. Freaked me out there, Pit. Are they throwing swords? Yeah, they're Arrow swords, I don't know. Oh, I... I don't want to take an arrow to the face. Oh, to the knee. God damn it, I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> joke. I hate that thing so that much. joke almost ruined the game for me into making me not want to buy it. Not want to buy it. I and... actually got that um, for free because of where I work. Oh, cool. I got it for my birthday. Nice. And, uh, damn bat. And, uh, I would always threaten my friends, and the threat would just show how much of a Call of Duty fan I was. <laughs> you say arrow to the knee one more time, and it's Barrett 50 Cal to the neck. You play Call of Duty? Yes, I on do. The, on the 360 or on the 360. computer? 360. Yeah. Hey, I do montages, have you seen? Yeah, but I, I didn't really know if they were, um... On 360 or well, no. They're on 360. Or PSA, yeah, I forgot there was on PSA. I forgot that thing exists. Oh. <laughs> I forgot there was a Wii, and it's on there too. <laughs> oh, is it? You're kidding me. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with it there though. Oh yeah, I do play COD. I used to do streams with COD. But then it got oh. a little tedious. Why? Well, I used to do this stuff called Road to Gold, where I would show me off getting every gun gold. And, How long is that? Well, I only did a few guns, and I'm still in the process today. How long ago did you start? Oh, about... Uh, I think a couple months ago. Oh, okay. But people started not coming, and I got bored with it, because I didn't want to stream every time I just wanted to play it. So thus, yeah. I no longer do it. I mean, I would if I'm just bored out of a, out of a, out of spite. Like the only game I really play is a uh, Halo Reach, and if I were to stream that, I would be streaming Griffball. If you know what that is. Uh, I know it. I know Halo. I played it. I own all Halo games. How good are you at Griffball? <sighs> I get whacked in the face with a hammer all the time. Um. There's like a new version where you could, uh, well, it's pretty old for how long it's been out, but, uh, where you actually have evade in there. Hmm. And there's a trick I did where... Oh, yeah, evade. Yeah, you evade over, pick up the ball, and by that time I kind of jumped, I did like a full combo, I jumped. I made it and I stood on the pad for like two seconds straight, and it didn't go off, and then the other guy killed me in baseball. Yeah, yeah, Evade. That's why I like playing as an Elite. Oh, yeah. I even did that in Halo 2 when it was still around. I would always play as the Elite, no matter what. Wait, you were you were able to play as the Elite in Halo 2? Yeah. Or was it Halo 3? Two and, oh, I... two and three. I, always, oh, I didn't know that. I always played as the Elite. A lot of people would say, you shouldn't play as an Elite, they're easier to headshot. Oh, trust me, they're not. No, they're not. They're hunched over. They're weak on three sides. Spartans are weak all around. A lot of people don't catch that. A little lesson for you folks. All I know is that, um... This guy here is, uh, killing himself? <laughs> that, that's his sword, right? That's his sword, and I'm trying to get it to ram into him, break his shield, and then he's gonna go on a berserk mode. <laughs> Come on! Take it! Does he actually go after you in the reserve? Yes. Come on! 
Take your sword back for crying out loud. He's like, stay away from me, I already know your tricks. Ah, oh, he broke it. <laughs> there we go. Now, rampage. Take this, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. <laughs> Link. Link! Calm down. <laughs> He's still swinging. <laughs> I had to do that for him. <laughs> okay, let's move on with what we gotta do now. We need to get the dungeon treasure. To the dungeon treasure place. Which is right behind this crack. Into this room. Now we have to get all the tiles red. Like this puzzle game would hurt my mind. Well, not really, but I would. I'd be like, "Darn it! What happens if you uh, step on the wrong tile or whatever?" You just have to exit the room and restart it. Oh. Okay. And here's the dungeon treasure: the switch hook. Oh my God! You got a switch hook. Yeah, no, it is not like the hook shot at all. I was about to ask that. I was like, "Is that like the hook shot?" See that diamond block? Yeah. Switch. Nice. That's how it works. And it's a level one switch hook. Hmm. So I do level that up, or do you have to just find another item? Just have to find its upgrade. Which won't be until later. And you can't switch places with big enemies. Yeah, I was with that. I was like, can you do that with enemies too? Yeah. Hey, give the switch spots. <laughs> For small enemies <laughs> like this thing, it only damages them. Poke. <laughs> Pressure switch. Had to put that there. Oh, nice. I can't help hum this song. I mean, that's the Sounds thing like with... Bio game. That's the thing with Capcom. Their music is good. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Capcom helped make this. Actually, it's more like flagship now, learning about it. Which are people of Capcom. I think just Capcom put their name on this. Uh -huh. But still, they, Capcom is still on the front, that's how I prefer it is. Okay, gotta get that diamond block. Wrong way, Link. <laughs> that there, grab the pot. Unfortunately, they break when they're used. And you gotta put that there. But I can't get out! Oh my god! Switch me spot. Switch spot! Okay, there we go. That seems very tedious. Not so tedious. I mean, now you're getting the whole point of why I say this whole dungeon is too hard to get lost in. Yeah. That's the one thing I do not like about it. I wish they had gotten a little bit better with it. <laughs> Seismic toss! Yeah! Uh. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, is this another puzzle? Hey, hey! Unveil yourself! Oh, they just right there. Just slimes that disguise themselves. Can't hurt them when they're the same color. Huzzah. Paul did. P hat. I don't like you. Can't hurt the P hats with a switch hook while they're spinning, but they can knock me into the lava. Oh my god. P hats are so tiny now in this game. Rather than huge as in the in 64 games. Yeah. Oh, another one of these. <laughs> Like, I was so surprised First, whenever I, uh... I kill the Moldorms. And then leave the room? What happens if you kill an enemy and then leave the room? Do they stay dead? They stay dead. Alright. Okay, so yeah. now let's reset it. Now let's see if I remember how to solve this one. Hmm. At least I have the Fraps problem fixed, otherwise I'd be hearing disorienting sounds while doing this. Oh, yeah. That would hurt my ears bad. Whenever I'm recording a uh, Pokemon, I'm only getting like 20 frames. But it's like 17 minutes for like 4 gigabytes, so that's pretty nice. And. Huzzah! We are done! Yes, no more of that beeping. I don't know what's worse, that or Link dying. Oh, yo, yeah. I hated that entire ah. There was like no hearts anywhere. Anywhere you wanted to go, there was no hearts. He 
You beaten the game? Yeah, I beat the game. I almost died to uh, the final dude. Even when I had two potions on me. Like, I went in there, like, super prepared. I was, like, over prepared. I got, like, every max potion that you could get. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. I've learned a lesson now. When I play that game again, I know a way to do it. Taking a powered up guardian potion so he can't hurt you. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I did. Well, this, you learned ahead of me then, because I didn't do that. And I was having oh, such problem getting the Skyward Sword Strike to, uh, charge. Be like, I'm pointing oh, up! Charge! There you go! Wait, throughout the game, or just in, 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 in like, that battle? In that Oh. I was like, Like, every time I tried doing that, it's like, okay, one more second, one more second, and then he just instantly, he's like, oh, nope, no, you don't. Yeah. But, uh, the only time I ever got a game over in that game was against the Imprisoned. Oh, yeah. He got Me to too. the top. <laughs> And I was like, this is so stupid, oh my god! And then I realized there's like an easier way to do it. What? Well, what's that? <laughs> what's um, the Because normally, what I, what I would do, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people would do, is go to the imprisoned's feet and just like, hit them and just hurt them like that. Yeah. But, the easiest way, in general, to do this is just go up above him, jump off, and hit it is a little pedestal thingy, or whatever that is. You can hit that while he's still walking? Yeah, I learned that the hard way. I was like, like how do you do this? Oh my god. And so I went on to the, to the middle thing, and it sent me flying, and I landed on him. And I just kept I kept striking, and I was like, wait, what? Wow. I just always just trying to use those uh, air vents and get in front of them and just whack on them. Yeah, or, um, what you could do is, uh, you know how to quickly fire your air, your bow and arrow? Mm. Where you hold, uh, the C button, pull back on the nunchuck. I just keep going, like, really repeatedly? Yeah, because I do that, and, um, it'll, it'll max up the charge to his feet, and they're gone in, like, one One arrow? One arrow. Dang, new strategy now. Hey you, buzz off! <laughs> okay, here comes the boss. Now who do you think this boss is? This is like fire to the eye, I'm going to... This is like some of Kirby. It's actually named Eyesore, but you know what it looks like to me? What? Patra. Patra. The ninth dungeon of the first game. Oh! It looks like Patra's. And I just wailed on him really quick. <laughs> Usually I have a hard time with him. If right? you get him into like that little animation phase, and you just swing and then they When you flip him, him you when you grab him with this and he's flipped over, just wail on him. Anyway, here's the fourth essence. The burning flame. Da, 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 da. It reignites wavering hearts with a hero's burning passion. Dungeon 4 completed, sadly, again. I have to say goodbye to the Skull Dungeon again. <laughs> oh well. Oh, uh, what do you want now, Maku Tree? He's like, look at my leaves! Well, look it's a girl petal. this time, so read it for me. I'm remembering more and more. The ridge north of Naru's house must be related to the essence of the I'm sure they are. Alright folks, that completes the fourth dungeon. Demisar, thank you so much for being a part of this project. You're welcome. And next time folks, we will continue on with our quest. Second playthrough of Oracle of Ages. To be continued.